Hello and welcome back to Release Party, where the first three episodes are up, production quality is down, the music is alive, and my voice is totally dead. I'm Garrett Northrup. Today, we're taking a look at the brand new We Did Not Ask For This Room by a band out of Oklahoma City called Johnny Manchild and the Poor Bastards. Led by vocalist and pianist Johnny Manchild and founded in 2016, the seven-piece group has amassed a sizable underground following with a boundary-pushing melting pot of alternative rock, pop, funk, and jazz. Now, the band begins with Johnny Manchild, born Jonathan Garrett, and so, too, does its story. Johnny began gigging at 10 years old, playing drums in a touring band called Refuge, then, upon its breakup, taught himself how to record and engineer beginning at age 12. And after playing bass in a couple of local bands, he founded Johnny Manchild and the Poor Bastards, borrowing both from an affectionate nickname given to him by his second mom, as he calls her, and his original guitarist's reaction after hearing a song Johnny wrote about a bad breakup, which was very kindly so to call him a poor bastard. Manchild began by recruiting fellow jazz students at the University of Central Oklahoma, including drummer Ethan Neal, bassist James Thompson, and trumpetist Ben Wood. And the lineup eventually evolved and expanded to include guitarist and backing vocalist Chris Lashley, saxophonist Logan Fromm, and second trumpetist Danny McGinn. And this very same lineup brought us We Did Not Ask For This Room one week ago today. The band sought to create something mature, something different from their earlier outings. And that's not to say that their earlier releases were, like, immature. They just felt a little bit tongue-in-cheek, I suppose. They had cartoony, hand-drawn album art, and they just didn't feel quite so polished as this room. But, as I said, they wanted to create something different, and they let their listeners know that they succeeded when they dropped the lead single, Sift. Check it out. And there's Sift by Johnny Manchild and the Poor Bastards. And the reason I chose this song to preview, and I think why it was released before any of the other singles, is because thematically, lyrically, it encompasses the meaning of the album as a whole. It tells the story of hitting the lowest of lows and having nowhere to go but up, of coming to the realization that while we're here in this life, why not make the most of it? The same idea is actually where the album got its name, from the poem, from a poem, of the same name, 
penned by Stephen King, and it goes thusly. We did not ask for this room, or this music. We were invited in. Therefore, because the darkness surrounds us, let us turn our faces toward the light. Let us endure hardship to be grateful for plenty. We've been given pain to be astounded by joy. We've been given life to deny death. We did not ask for this room or this music, but because we are here, let us dance. All in all, We Did Not Ask For This Room is an excellent 9.5 out of 10, in my opinion. Now, I've come to realize, while I was listening to this album and putting this episode together, that maybe I rated some of the previous albums a touch higher than I would now. Maybe, like, half a point. But this room is a definite, locked-in 9.5 out of 10. The songwriting is absolutely masterful, and Johnny shows his true, unbridled genius throughout the album as an arranger, as a collaborator and band leader, as a pianist, and, of course as a vocalist. Vocally, the man is capable of everything from poetic crooning to an angsty, pissed-off growl that would make Dave Grohl jealous, and he's listenable and charismatic no matter where on that spectrum he chooses to be. And beyond Johnny, every bastard showed up in full swing on this record. The bass hides perfectly just beneath the surface and holds up the mix like that of a much older, more experienced musician. The interplay between the guitars and the keys and the horns is perfect throughout, and each instrument sits exactly where it's supposed to be. And perhaps my favorite part of this album, instrumentally, is the drums. I mean, wow! I'm not a drummer, and will probably never attempt to be, but Ethan Neal is the perfect man for the job. He's buttery smooth and perfectly punchy, and he stands out, yet stays completely in line with each song and meets their needs to a T. And when you stack it against the previous works, this room is the band's perfect evolution. Each release has been a little different for the band, beginning with a debut EP that was put out simply to have something released, then on to a self-produced DIY effort, then to a race against time, with the Bastards taking on the challenge of releasing a single for every month of 2019, then compiling them all on a 12-song album in late December. And don't get me wrong, the band has an excellent catalog. Now, their debut hasn't aged wonderfully, and their second release is a little rougher on the edges, yet the two still have plenty of excellent music. And their 2019 album, One Big Beautiful, Beautiful Sound, is one of my favorite albums of the past couple of years, and played no small part in helping me get through the isolation of the COVID-19 pandemic. Yet, this room has reached a new status. The band saw this as their first chance to create something pristine, something totally polished and complete, and they certainly didn't squander it. However, at the same time, this room serves as a loving goodbye to this iteration of the Bastards, as Johnny moves to the next phase of his creative career and leaves this one behind. But, thanks to this most recent release, I'm riding with Johnny Manchild for the long haul, and if you embark on this listening journey with him, you will not be sorry. That's going to do it for episode 3 of Release Party. As always, thank you very much for checking in. And be sure to subscribe to the Dexter Squall channel right here on YouTube. And let me know if you want me to shout out a new album that's been flying under the radar. I'll see you all next week when we take a closer look at an album I wrote about briefly in our very first Squall issue of the year. Take care.